Hey, Marlon Sanders here. What is up? How to write your first sales letter. That's what I want to be throwing down some information about, throwing down some knowledge about. You know, I remember what a struggle it was for me to write my first sales letter. You know, I had heard guys like Ted Nicholas, Gary Halbert say, you were only one sales letter away from a million dollars. Well, a million dollars sure sounded good to me. So what I did was, I mean, this was way back. I had a, I had a piece of crap printer and the problem was, I didn't understand the structure of a sales letter. Yes, I knew it was supposed to have a headline. Yes, I knew it was supposed to have proof. Uh, yes, I knew it was supposed to have benefits. Obviously, no one is going to spend a dime with you unless they get some benefits, right? So, I, 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 but the problem was, I didn't have a structure to put the sales letter together. And so, I'd, I'd type up these little sales letters. I'd print them out of my crappy printer and I'd mail them out. And I didn't get any response. In fact, one time... You know, you got to have a thick skin sometimes to make it in marketing. I remember one time a guy sent back an e uh, this was an email letter that I sent out by email. Guy sends back a letter says, "We'll go back to school." And I don't know if he meant to go back to copywriting school or he meant to go back to school and don't try marketing or something. I don't know. But at the time it hurt my feelings. So sometimes you got to have a thick skin and you got to be willing to keep to keep making the effort, to keep trying. Because I really believe that if you if you keep at it, that eventually you'll have a breakthrough and you'll 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 figure out the things that you did that were stupid, that were dumb, that were wrong, that didn't work. And sometimes even a small success, even a small success can be a big success. Let me give you an example of that. One time I ran an ad that only got three responses. It got three responses. I ran an ad in a local business journal. And I had people respond. I sent them a sales letter back, and I only got three responses. But one of them was a response to work for a marketing, to do sales copy for a marketing guru in Dallas, Texas at the time. And he did, spoke at seminars with Gary Halbert and all these people that at the time I idolized. So it was a huge breakthrough. It's a huge, massive breakthrough. How would you like to have a breakthrough? Are you having breakthroughs? Well, how many sales letters have you written and gotten out, gotten in the mail, gotten online? If you haven't gotten any or you haven't gotten many, then now's the time to start. So let's lay out a few steps for you writing your, your first sales letter. Law number one, rule number one, step number one is to write without editing. The number one reason for writer's block is you're trying to critique it, you're trying to edit, you're trying to make it right while you're writing it. So uh, T.J. Rowleader, who's a, a magnificent uh, sales letter writer, has written letters that have brought him probably $100 million, says he'll write two or three times the amount that he needs. And I used to do that. Now I'm more able to write a sales letter without a whole lot of unnecessary stuff. However, sometimes if you get yourself going, you know, it starts out, I think rule number two is start writing even if it's dry, even if it's hard, because what happens is you do a thing called writing yourself in a mood. You start out, it's going slow, it's going hard, it's not going good, and you write yourself in a mood. You start getting excited and it starts working for you. So you can write yourself in a mood. So write more than you need. Don't be as scared. Write all that you can. Get pumped and get excited. Try to get, as you're writing, get yourself into this mental state where you're excited because you're going to write better copy and you're going to get your reader excited. If you're bored to death and bored out of your tears, your mind, it's not going to be exciting to your reader. Number three is understand the structure of your sales letter. Now you can use my push button letter software for this, or let me just explain the basic structure of a sales letter that's going to work for you. Number one is you got your headline. That's where you got your attention. In the headline, you've got a thing above the headline, sometimes called an eyebrow, that sometimes will call out specific people. Attention internet marketers. Attention, you know, read this. If you're trying to lose weight, read this. Sometimes it'll be underlined, left center, left to the left margin. Sometimes it'll be in ital. That basically flags down the reader. Then you got your headline. Then sometimes under the headline, you have a second headline, which will em sometimes emphasize urgency. You know, respond you must respond before June 32nd or whatever. Then you go into your letter. Now, I like in the first paragraph, 
to just expand on whatever the promise of the headline was. So, so the first opening, the lead, is just an expansion of what's in, in the headline. Then sometimes you'll go into your credibility. I did this in Amazing Formula. It said there's so many, so many marketing people on the internet nowadays, and this was way back. You know, you don't know who to believe. Well, let me tell you four reasons to believe me. Uh, number one, the people, most of these people have never gotten paid as a copywriter, which is true, to write real copy for real clients. And I said, you know, my best clients at the time was worth $600 million, which he was. See, he's out here in Hunt, Texas, but passed away a few years back, Walter Itzy Bitsy Haley. And I said, I number two, I've been paid up to $10,000 or in excess of $10,000 for ISOs that letter for a client, which was true, blah, 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 okay? So I was laying out my credibility. You can lay out whatever credibility you say, well, and I don't have any credibility. We'll start getting some credibility. Start writing some articles, doing some things for some credibility. But in the beginning, you use whatever you got. Have confidence. Be out there. Be bold. Whatever it is you got, sell it. You got to sell people on whatever it is you got. Then sometimes you'll tell your story where the purpose of the story is to identify with the reader, let them know you felt their problems, you felt their pains. I know what it's like to create a sales letter and not get any sales, not get any responses. Just be almost non existent to the people reading your sales letter, looking at what it is you got. I know what that feels like. I know how terrible that is. So you want to identify with the reader. Then, usually at that point, you're going to go you, you, in that story you've sold the problem. What a struggle it was. You went through all of this. Then you had the big breakthrough and you decided to put it in a product. Here's what people are going to learn. That's the solution. And sometimes you'll spell that out in like four or five, six modules with bullet points for each module or like an amazing formula. I had one long list of bullets. That's why we did it in the old age old days. Today, what you see more on JVZoo and WSOs is a breakdown of Module 1, Module 2, Module 3, and Module 4, Video 1, 2, 3, 4, right? A lot of times people just break down a 10 or 15 minute video uh, and call it modules, right? And then after that, you've got your price, why the price is a bargain, uh, uh, you've got your bonuses, reason to act now, the urgency, and specifics of how to order. That's the basic outline of sales that it's going to work really good for you. So this is what I want you to do. There's nothing like just doing it. There's nothing like just getting something written, write it without thinking, write it without thinking, go back and edit it the best you can, Get a decent looking sales letter template. Again, if you don't have something, you can use pushbuttonletters.com, uh, you can use designdashboard.com, or you can use Optimize Press, or WP Profit Builder, or Thrive Themes, or any of these page building tools uh, that, that are out there today. Get a sales letter written, go back and edit it, or get it all out, write it down, write, 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 no editing, then go back and edit it, now throw it up onto a page, stick an order link on there, sell it for five or ten bucks, see if anybody buys. See if anybody buys. If you get two or three people to buy, say that's good, you just wrote your first sales letter that made you money. If nobody buys, then you know, go back and write another letter. It's, it's just it's just time to, time to type it or pen and paper. It, I like to write at Starbucks is what I really love to do. Really love to go out to Starbucks, hang out, drink cappuccino. Really what I really like is iced tea. I don't drink iced tea as much as I used to, but I love iced tea at Panera Bread, Starbucks, wherever. Hang out, write your letter, throw it up online, stick out the order. Like, I to see if anybody buys. This is how you start out writing sales letters. You do it by doing. You get out there, you put yourself out. You gotta be willing to put yourself out there. It's hard. It's hard to put yourself out there, but this is what you've got to do. My name is Marlon Setters. You follow me on Twitter, Marlon Setters, uh, Twitter.com forward slash Marlon Setters, on YouTube, YouTube.com forward slash Marlon Marlon Sanders. Uh, uh, at my webs, my blog is marlinsnews.com, M-A-R-L-O-N-S-N-E-W-S.com. My Facebook is facebook.com forward slash Marlon Sanders News. All right, Marlon Sanders, king of step-by-step -step internet marketing. Until the next video, I want to wish you the best of success.